the silver mark of freedom, his spirit was born. Thara, they named him Thara, like the wind, like the wind that is free. Thara, they named him Thara, to be king of the bush, his destiny. And veins through the mist and ancient trees runs the ghost like horse so proudly, silent as the breeze. Thara, they named him Thara. He's the son of the wind, strong and free. Thara, they named him Thara, and the king, yes, the king. Boom Boom, having to save the herds from capture, did not put Arrow's leadership in a favourable light, especially considering his aspirations to become king of the Cascade Brumbies. Thara, where are you? Please come back before Arrow gets us into more trouble. <coughs> now, hear this, everybody. Today, all Brumbies with brown tails will graze at the north end of the clearing and the rest down south. Is that clear? Oh. I know I should be used to this by now, but I'm not. Don't worry, just ignore it. He'll have forgotten within five minutes and be dreaming up some other ridiculous idea. Oh, yes. I can just feel the herd's admiration. This is what's been needed all along. Positive leadership. Ah, ha! Smarty Pants Thara on his way back to the herd. I wonder what Arrow will think of that. Hey, Arrow, oh esteemed acting herd leader. Oh, what is it, Tarawan? I don't have time for small talk with creatures of your ilk these days. I have important things on my mind. Oh? Like what you're going to do when Thara returns? Oh, that I doubt, Tarawan. <laughs> I reckon he went off with no intention of returning. He's finally realised who's best for the job. Oh, so the silver brumby I saw headed in this direction wasn't Thara then. Just his twin brother. <laughs> What? Headed in this direction? Are you sure, Karawong? Your days as herd leader are about to come to an end, Arrow. <laughs> Make the most of it while you can. <laughs> that blasted Karawong. Who knows when he's telling the truth? But I can't take the chance. <laughs> Listen, everyone. Important announcement. Uh. What did I tell you? Here we go again. Kara Wong has just brought alarming news. A strange, mean and ferocious stallion from the lowland is heading our way fast, intent on taking over the herd. We must move from here right now. Where to, Arrow? Uh, where to? Uh, yeah, Misty Lake. <laughs> Misty Lake? But there's always been rumours of strange things going on down there. Yeah. It's a no-go area. Which is precisely why we should go there. The vicious Brumby won't follow. And I don't believe those stories anyhow. Right. It's all settled. Move out! <laughs> Arrow. Perhaps I should stay here in case Thara shows up. He should be back any time now. Oh, Thou would never forgive me if anything happened to you, Boom Boom. Come along and stay close. But I really... I'm herd leader now, Boom Boom. Do as you're told. Oh, 
Slop Mew. Thara's herd is on the move. Arrow's herd, don't you mean, eh? Oh, the powerful, fast and smart Arrow has taken over. Only till Thara gets back, Mew. Oh, that's right, eh? Well, if he gets back... Do you think he may not? Oh, not if Arrow has his way, eh? I think he likes being top Brumby. Hmm. Where do you suppose he's leading them, Mew? Oh, only one way to find out, eh? Let's, Let's follow! follow. <laughs> This place gives me the creeps. Yeah, I'd rather take my chances with the ferocious stallion. Nobody's going anywhere without my permission. Besides, we only have to wait here till the stallion's gone. He may fall over a cliff or be struck by lightning. <coughs> oh, no, I don't believe it. I'll move to Misty Lake to avoid noisy brumbies and here they all are yapping and gabbling as loud as ever. <coughs> No sign of Brumbies anywhere. Perhaps Arrow's taken the herd to the Secret Valley for safety. Ah, I get it, Mew. They're having a lakeside holiday. Mm, not much of a spot for a holiday, if you ask me, eh? But I've always wanted a lakeside holiday, Mew, and now's our chance. Mm. I must admit, eh, I've always wanted to swim, just like a duck. Swim like a duck? But I don't think emus can swim like ducks, Mew. Oh, but we can't fly like other birds, eh? So it only stands to reason that we can swim like ducks. By golly, you're right, Mew, as always. We, we must, must try, try it out! out. I didn't know emus can swim. They can't. Oh, but I just saw two swim by. Nope. Must have been ducks. Too big for ducks. Swans, then. <coughs> Must have been swans. Funniest looking swans I ever saw. See, eh? Nothing to it. Yep, you were right, Mew. Emus can swim after all. Are you okay, eh? I think so, Mew. I trod in a deep hole. Mew, what's going on? Oh, I don't know, eh? There's something underneath me. Sign of them here either. Where can they be? Mopoke, Mopoke, Mopoke. Good to see you. Tell me, do you have any idea where the herd is? Oh, Thaura, I've not seen a single horse. There's always the chance they've been captured, of course. Captured? With Arrow in charge, anything could have happened, but some of them would have escaped. Mopoke, could you help with the search? I'll take to the air and have a good look. I'll search every mountain, lake, and brook. Thanks, Mopoke. <laughs> Hi ho, your ebullient eminence. Top of the morning to you, sire. What news, Karawong? What have you been up to? I just had a morning nap, sire. Now I feel ready to take on the world. Morning nap. I thought I told you to keep a sharp eye out for Thaura. Uh, 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 yes, your redoubtable resourcefulness. I'd been up all night searching for him, you see, and... Uh... No excuses, Karawong. You disobeyed my instructions. But, 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 sire, last time I didn't get any sleep, I fell right out of midair into the thorns of a blackberry bush. <laughs> <laughs> Get 
that airborne, Karawong. Search the countryside to the south, and don't come back till you find him. Aye, aye, mighty maestro. Uh oh. Mopoke. Mopoke. Oh, good day, Mopoke. Arrow, as a herd leader, you're a bit of a fake. Otherwise, you wouldn't be by Misty Lake. I brought the herd here to save them from a cruel, vicious Brumby that's invaded the high country, if you must know, Mopoke. But this is a mysterious part of the range. These waters are rumoured to be quite strange. Uh, I'm not interested in silly, superstitious stories, Mopoke. And as herd leader, I don't have time for idle chatter. Bye. I've seen Thara with my own eyes. I think you're in for quite a surprise. <laughs> hmm. Now, I wonder if Thara could be hiding in that mist down there. Wouldn't put it past him. Now, let's see. Could there be a large island he's hiding on? Afraid of being thrashed by the mighty Bralga? <laughs> hey! Oh, 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 what's going on? Hey! Yeah! Yeah! Ah! Misty Lake has a weird history. I've heard tales of horror and mystery. I wouldn't worry too much about that, Mopog. I don't believe them. I must admit I've seen nothing myself, but I always pass this way using great stealth. I'm more worried about Thaura. I'm afraid he'll never find us here. Thaura's back, if you must know. He's lost the herd and doesn't know which way to go. Lost the herd? Mopog, can you lead me to him? I must see him. If his company you must share, just follow me. I'll lead you there. Mopoke, Mopoke. Do you hear what I hear? I can certainly hear something. A kind of gurgly sound. Seems to be coming from the rocks. Let's investigate. Oh, no, thanks. Sounds spooky to me. This place is creepy. Oh, come on. You don't believe in ghosts, do you? Yes, I do, as a matter of fact. I'm staying right here. Chicken. because of all the Brumbies tramping through. And what happens? More Brumbies. That's what happens. Another broken web. Oops. Sorry, Mr. Spider. I didn't see your web. Anybody would think this was an open range for Brumbies. <gasps> typical, typical. That spider reminds me of someone, but I can't think who. Where can they be? A whole herd of Brumbies can't just disappear into thin air. I'd never forgive myself if anything happened to Boon Boon. Mopok! Mopok! Oh, Thara, there's no need to despair. If you look behind, you'll find your heart's desire right there. Boon Boon! What a relief. I, I was beginning to fear I'd never see you again. Times when two's right and three's not so. I think it's time for me to go. <laughs> Thara, it's so good to see you again. I know you haven't been gone long, but, but 
that I really missed you. I would have thought Arrow would have looked after you okay. Uh, hasn't he? Arrow? I think you know what I mean, Thara. <laughs> yes, I, I know what you mean, Boom Boom. And I missed you in exactly the same way. <laughs> right. Come on, we'd better get back to the herd. Everyone will be so happy to see you back. Everyone? Well, perhaps not Arrow, but the sooner you take over again, the better. Oh, oh, that's better. Not feeling quite myself lately. I wish that ache in my back leg would go away. Uh, uh, master! Master! Huh? You've finally located Thaura? Thaura? No, no, Holy Horsefulness. I've just been accosted by some weird thing over on Misty Lake. Misty Lake? I thought I told you to find Thaura. Did you expect to find him taking a swim? Well, I was searching for an island when these, these beasty things came splashing out of the water at me. Terrifying it was, sire. So what am I supposed to do about it? Well, uh, uh, go get them, your fabulous ferociousness. Just like you always do. Give them a hiding they'll never forget. <laughs> so you want me to jump into Misty Lake and attack some monster, do you, Karawong? Uh, well, I... Every time I attack these beasts you manage to find, I end up with a massive bruises and a headache. If you want someone to attack it, I suggest you find Thaura. Find Thaura, sire? But, 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 but... That cough of yours isn't getting any better. No, and it never will as long as we're at this dank, miserable place. Hey, Arrow, we're all going to catch colds and rheumatism if we stay here. Yeah. <coughs> What's become of this ferocious stallion we're supposed to be hiding from? Well, I doubt very much that he'd be gone by now. We must stay here a bit longer. Seems to me that Thaura would have chased this stallion away. Well, you can forget Thaura. His days as herd leader are history now. Arrow, come quick. I've discovered a monster in a cave. It's after us. What? Oh, not more ghost stories. I'm not going into any cave to confront any so-called monster. But it's there, blowing bubbles. You should see it. So you won't fight the stallion and you won't even check out this monster, hey, Arrow? Well, I... What about the Brolga, Karawan? Can't you get him over here to deal with this thing? Ah, well, the mighty Brolga is indisposed, you see. He has a very busy schedule at the moment and... It seems to me it's about time we got some new leaders around here. Leaders that will show a bit of courage. Hmm. Oh, all right then! I'm braver than the Brolga! Oh, lead the way, Urella. Good luck. Uh-oh. OK, Urella. Where's the gurgly noises you told me about? I can't hear a thing. But they were here before. I heard them. So here we are. End of the track. No bubbles, gurgles or weird creatures of any sort. So, Urella, what have you got to say for yourself? There was something here. I saw it. The monster of Misty Lake. Ha! Oh! Oh, 
<laughs> hey, everyone. Look who's back. Hooray! It's, it's Sarah. Sarah. Good on you, Sarah. Welcome, Welcome back. Ah, oh, wouldn't you know it? Smarty Pants is back. What a relief to have you back, Thara. The herd is being stalked by some strange water creature. Even the Brogas too chicken to fight it. It has huge green flippers, blows bubbles, and is absolutely terrifying. Terrifying? That's the word for it, isn't it, Mew? Oh, yep. Blows the biggest bubbles you ever saw. Terrifying bubbles. Terrifying bubbles? Now, now just a minute. Has anybody actually been harmed by this monster? Well, uh, it gave Arrow quite a fright. That wouldn't be hard. <laughs> it doesn't sound as though too much damage has been done, and I'm not really surprised. But Misty Lake does have a reputation for strange happenings, Thara. Yes, I know, but its reputation has been somewhat exaggerated. Bunyip, are you out there? You can come out, Bunyip. You're amongst friends. Nobody will harm you. to meet the Bunyip of Misty Lake. Very harmless and inclined to play the odd practical joke. Hi, Bunyip. So this is what frightened Arrow off? And the Brolga. <laughs> <laughs> master, master, incredible news. What now, Karuang? The monster of Misty Lake turned out to be nothing but a dopey old bunyip that wouldn't hurt a fly. So? <laughs> the word's out that you're afraid of it, but that weakling Thara isn't. <laughs> you're the laughingstock of the high country, sire. Uh -huh. So, Thara's made me the laughingstock of the high country, has he? Revenge will be mine! <laughs> it would seem that the Brolgus humiliation is the last straw. If only he had checked out Karawong's monster story, he would not have lost face. But it had to happen sooner or later. The time for the final battle to decide who is King of the Cascade Brumbies has come. <laughs>